this is a follow-up video, uh, kind of a two-in-one. Um, first shots out of my AMD 65 side folder here, and also um, testing out some magazines that I showed you guys in another video. Um, we got the Croatian uh, new manufacturer steel magazines. Uh, something cool that I didn't notice about these is they are bolt hold open. Um, found that out for the first time. I was using the Tapco mag, that was the first magazine that I used uh, out at the range. And I'll roll some footage in for you guys, uh, just of me shooting. Um, so, traditional AK magazines don't have a bolt hold open, but these Croatian mags do. And that's something that was, I don't even think that was in the ad. Um, so I really like that feature. And then when I was loading them up, I noticed they have a hole there at the bottom, like a little window. Tells you when you got 30 rounds in there. That's really cool, I didn't notice that either. Um, the, I had two, let's see, no, I had three failures to feed. Um, don't know if they were the gun's fault or the magazines. Everything is brand new. Uh, when, I very, when I put my very first round into the gun, uh, the bullet did not go uh, up into the chamber. It actually kind of went halfway in and and jammed. And in the video, you can see me kind of pulling the bolt back and letting it go, and it slammed it home. And then I had uh, two other failures, and they were failures to feed. Um, they were on the Croatian magazines, but like I said, everything is brand new, so I'm not going to judge them for that just yet. And what happened was, instead of the bullet feeding into the chamber, the tip of the round uh, hit right below um, the chamber. So the, so the tip of the bullet was right above, like between the trunnion and the chamber. And I had another failure where the bolt just kind of locked back. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not sure if it just if it got hung up and if it was the if it was the gun's fault or the magazines. So you see in the video, I just kind of slammed it home, um, and then it was good after that. Uh, I definitely, I really, really like these magazines. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more of them for the price. You just, you just really can't go wrong. Um, as far as shooting the AK, uh, it was, it was, it was fun to shoot. It definitely, um, I guess maybe because of how thin the side folding stock is, it seemed like all of the impact was focused in a really small spot. And my arm wasn't bruised or sore or anything like that. Uh, it just, you know, it, it was, um, a little bit different feeling than just a regular stock that has a wider area. Uh, I was shooting this thing with the, uh, I have a charging handle extension right here. Uh, it's not so much of an, an extension as just, it gives you something uh, better to grab onto instead of kind of that sharp hook. Um, and then I also chopped the front AMD grip off a little more than halfway just makes it easier to get those 30 round magazines in and out. Uh, it's not that big of a deal with uh, the AMD front grip, but it just makes it a whole lot easier to not have that thing in the way. Plus, uh, all this front end is getting changed. I've got an Ultimac rail that I'm going to put on here and an MFT handguard. So, uh, the, only other, the only other thing that was different was I do have a fighter brake on here. And uh, that is from AK Operators Union. Um, the manufacturer is Definitive Arms. I saw this in one of their videos, and they said uh, they liked it, so I figured I, I tried it out. It was only 40 bucks, um, and I like it. Uh, I will do a video here soon comparing a couple different ones. I have this fighter brake. I have the traditional AMD, you know, the big brake, and then I think I have. A slant break also so maybe I'll do a video of those um, so, you, so you can kind of see that and uh, if you got any questions or comments want to know anything else about what you saw uh, just put it in the comments thanks